Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I put together my Easter look. Back in the days when I used to live in Europe, Easter was a really big deal. Um, it's almost as big as I want to say Christmas. I must confess, this is the Sunday before Easter because by the time it's all done and I post it, it will probably be Sunday night and the whole day is gone and that defeats the purpose of sharing it with you. But I promise you, this is the exact look I'm going to wear Sunday for Easter. What the plans are, usually on Sunday morning, we do an Easter egg hunt with the kids. So this particular look will be coming after at lunchtime when we're going to be celebrating Easter together with our families. Let me know in the comment section down below what are some of your favorite Easter activities and do you dress up? How do you meet with your families? I look forward to reading all about it. So let's talk about the look. I will try to film it as fast as I can because I already walked you through so many makeup looks but basically it's going to be a minimal light daytime look. I will try not to put too much makeup. I always start with the thought that I'm not going to wear a lot of makeup and then end up with a lot of makeup. That's because I really like eyeshadow. I love blending them. I love trying new colors. One thing I want to mention about blemishes. Yes, as you can tell, this is not a good morning for me to be filming makeup lists, but um, that's okay because luckily there's makeup and there's so many things that you can do to um, cover all the spots and redness and really make it look more discreet and perhaps enhance focus on the other features such as your lips or your eyes eyebrows and that will distract from the overall skin but yeah let's get started when you put makeup on for example or when you drive try to listen to audiobooks because that's time really well spent it's a way of preparing for the day stick into your routine and part of my routine are audiobooks but because it's Sunday, I'm going to play some music. So I wanted to show you for a second <laughs> how much concealer I need to put on. And you know what? It's okay. You know why it's okay? because what other people think doesn't matter, right? As long as you're comfortable in your skin. I try my best to cover the blemishes, but whatever is still showing, it's still showing and it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm not perfect, nobody is perfect, we all have it. So yeah, let's stop focusing on that and move on, let's enjoy the day. <laughs> this one, I'm not, I, I can't cover it, it's just there. And it's okay. You're probably gonna see it in a couple more videos. <laughs> One eyeshadow palette that I want to point out to you is by e.l.f. Uh, sold at Walmart and this is the eyeshadow palette. It's on the greener side. It's neutral, greener, cool toned and I want to say that I've created some of the best looks with this. It's almost like they melt together and it's it brightens the eyes. It goes so well with my blue eyes perhaps because of the brownish color. I, I, I can't explain it, but this combination was very unexpected. I would have never chosen this. <laughs> I was just trying to experiment with new um, eyeshadows and because it was so cheap, I'm like, why not? What's the worst can happen? You'll throw it out. <laughs> but I kept it and I recommend you try it out just for fun, do something different. Um, it's not very pigmented, so it doesn't compare with a high quality eyeshadows such as the Anastasia Beverly Hills or you know the Urban Decay palettes. It's just fun. Try it out. And here is my beautiful Eliza J dress. Um, it's made out of chiffon. It is lined. You know I'm sure that there are more beautiful dresses out there. But I think what makes a dress so special is the way it makes you feel. So when I wear this, it's so nice and flowy and elegant. It makes me feel like a princess, it really does. But I wanna show you one more um, item. Because it's still uh, relatively cold outside, it gets in the 50s, I do have to wrap myself up and this is the masterpiece. This is a beautiful, handmade 100% silk shawl and you can see the details of these roses 
they stand out it is so unique i don't wear it often i definitely save it for special occasions such as this one so let me go try it on for you and take a look I hope you enjoyed watching me put together this look. Don't forget to share in the comments down below what your plans are for Easter. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!